One of the factors that have characterized the changes in Latin America over the past decades is the expansion of the middle class. Most of the people in the region nowadays is needed rich or poor by national standards. This is the consequence of different government interventions that have aimed to reduce poverty. The expansion of the middle class is something that every government wants to promote, basically for, their, for two conditions. The first one is the political implications. The middle class people is more interested in political matters, they vote more, and this strengthens the democracies. It also has an important impact on the economic implications, because people who is in the middle class usually tend to have more income, more disposable income to spend, and this promotes economic growth. One of the factors that is more relevant in the study of the middle class is how middle class is defined or measured. One of the international measures is the standard of 10 to 50 dollars daily. Depending on the data available, sometimes individuals are classified under this measure, other times households are classified using this condition. Nevertheless, using this measure 10 to 50 dollars daily creates a very heterogeneous group because depending on the, on the country conditions, 50 dollars could be a lot of money for a household or for a person, so it won't be exactly the same uh, condition, the same middle class uh, when compared with another country. Another way to measure and to classify the middle class is something that is used in Colombia and is through a socioeconomic strata system. In Colombia, households are classified in a scale from one to six. One are the poorest, six are the richest. For the classification of the middle class, those numbers are collapsed. One to two a strata are the poorest, three to four are the people in the middle class and five and six are the more affluent. This is generally speaking one of the ways that is used in Colombia to classify um, the people in the middle class. When you compare the different um, classifications using income or socioeconomic conditions, there is an overlap on all of them. So in general, these definitions uh, leads to very much to the same conclusions. With the objective to understand the expansion and the aspirations and consumption of the middle class in Cali, the Observatory of Public Policy Police of University Arisesi conducted a study in the city. Cali is the third largest city in Colombia with a population of 2.4 million of habitants. Policy study was conducted through a population survey that speaks about the socioeconomic compositions of the city. And pretty much the study what did was to compare the low income population and the middle income population. The division of the low income and middle income was based on the classification that explained early on. Um, we wanted to know how was the consumption of the aspiration of the middle class as compared with the low income brackets. The middle class study was conducted in 2016 and it was through a population survey. This measure is collected every two years and this year, 2018, uh, we collected a second observation and it will allow us to know how the consumption and the aspiration of the middle class changes over time. So let's now turn to the results of the policy study. There are at least five points that deserve some discussion. The first one is the high consumption, the high consumption of the middle class, not only of the middle class, but also the people who live in the lower income brackets. We found that many people spend a lot of money on things that are not necessary. For instance, going for the dinners, spending money in, in food or going out or money on clothes. This is also translated into the low savings rates. Less than 40% of the people who respond to the interview, they declare that they have a, at least three months of savings in case of unemployment. This is one of the characteristics of the vulnerable middle class, because in case of external cash shock, they wouldn't be able to live up to the standards and they might uh, come back to a lower income bracket. Another characteristic we found of the people of the middle class is the high um, percentage of people who work in the formal sector. One of the things that is expected is that as people increase on their income, they will be more in the formal sector rather than in the formal. We found in, in Cali and in general in Colombia that the people in the middle classes, they are, both, they are equally distributed in the formal and the informal sector. So we are not finding that people, as they increase in education or they increase in income, that, that is translated into more employment in the formal sector. 
Another characteristic of the people in this study is the high levels of optimism. Most of the people they consider they will be better off next year and compared with the, with the past year, they also consider they are better off and in better conditions. This optimism is also translated when we ask the people if they perceive they are in better conditions when compared with their parties at the same age. However, all of this optimism does not translate into working condition of the middle class. For instance, over 50% of the people they will consider they will lose their job in the next six months. In line with the high optimism we perceive in the survey, there is also high levels of life satisfaction. Generally speaking, the people is happy with the living they are having and there are no significant differences with the income brackets. People in the lower brackets and the high brackets of the middle class, they are completely satisfied with the life they have. Or, and also they are satisfied with the things they can do and buy, uh, with the income they have. That means with their living standards. This high optimism, optimism and high life satisfaction, however, does not translate on how people is perceived in the government. In general, the government is very low perceived and people does not trust much in the institutions and the government, in particular security, traffic, education and health services are the factors that has low uh, rating in our survey. In sum, the conclusions of the study conducted by POLIS shows a middle class that is growing, that has a lot of consumption, but it's a middle class that could be highly vulnerable, especially because of the low savings and the high consumption they have. It is also people who is optimism, who is happy, who thinks they will be better in the future, but it doesn't translate into the way they perceive the government. The full version of our policy brief uh, you can access to our webpage which is displayed in this screen. We also invite you to follow us in our uh, social network, in Twitter and Facebook. Please read it and share it with your network.